Like, I just don't think you understand, like, this is going to affect him. This is the thing he is going to be most known for for the rest of his life. Uh, we saw some uh, videos early today, and we're going to go ahead and, and show them to you because I really am very curious what you ladies think about this whole situation and who's in the right and who's in the wrong. Okay? And then if you guys, can you guys read that? There at the very, do. at the top, you see that is, uh, he's the host of uh, the that, that, that show where people eat those really hot foods and they awesome. do interviews. Oh, like, the hot wings. Oh. Yeah, okay, cool. And if you watch it, that's him and his new girlfriend. Can you scroll down just a little bit so I can see the top? No, Uh-oh, scroll the other way. way. Here we go. There you go. He goes, Sean Evans from Hot Ones is reportedly dating porn star Melissa Stride. Up at the top, can you guys read what that says? Yes. Congrats, Sean. Her pussy is fire. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> Adam twenty two congratulated him oh, for man. dating her because stay classy. Adam. He said he said <laughs> that her her pussy is fire. Double nice Andre play on words. It yeah. is. It's interesting. Okay. Cool. So you guys see that, right? Uh-huh. He decided to date a porn star. Okay, and probably knew it was. Porn. And then another guy Probably that she knew. had just recently had sex with <laughs> said, hey, congratulations, bro. Her pussy's fire. Right? Got it? Everybody following me so long. Yep. Cool. So let's go to the next one. There's an article. Can we look at the I article here? Know. If that is not like a stab at that guy. Yes, I, I did not yeah. know yeah. That's, that's so that disrespectful. disrespectful. Here we go. Okay. So All here's right. the USA Today article. If you guys can see it right here, Hot Ones host Sean Evans uh, spotted with star Melissa Stratton, the mockery crossed a line. And if you go scroll down a little bit in here, the guy explains how this was inappropriate. Mm-hmm. It was th- this level of mockery because, mm-hmm. you know, they sexualized this whole thing. So apparently the the the, the party line is that uh, he should not be shamed for dating a Sorry, do you, you want me to read this in a radio voice, or do you want? Oh, to no, I can't. I can't on? even see it right now. Right, what does it say? I can got it. The host of the Hot Ones and an adult film star, an adult uh, star, were spotted in public together. <gasps> And the mockery has been swift and relentless. Sean Evans, who hosts the popular talk show Hot Ones, which I watch, I think is actually a very brilliant show, uh, in which he interviews A-listers as they eat extremely spicy chicken wings. Uh, He also owns The Heatonist, by the way. Uh, uh, was recently photographed with Melissa Stratton, a porn star, a cam girl, and a podcaster. Aren't we all? Uh, according to her website, on Saturday, Stratton shared a photo on X, formerly Twitter, uh, still Twitter, uh, of herself uh, with Evans at the Super Bowl event. We just saw that a minute ago. Uh, the two haven't confirmed uh, that they are or ever were a couple. TMZ reported that they split, uh, they split briefly after dating. Still, the details don't seem to matter much to people who are making disparaging remarks about the pair, uh, the pair online with particularly cruel jokes referencing Stratton's line of work. For breaking up with her on Valentine's Day. Ooh. So after Adam fun. says, hey, congratulations, her pussy's fire, he breaks up with her on Valentine's Day. You guys with me? Wow. Okay. Crazy, isn't it? You guys following wow. along? I, just, I want to make sure everybody's following along the story because it's not over yet. Adam22 had to respond to that. So can we pull up Adam's response? to this whole oh situation. God. Here we go. Ready yes. for this? Here it is. Okay. Um, no, he said something out of line. Hey, Sean Evans. You know Why what I'm so not angry? feeling? I'm not feeling you breaking a sex worker's heart on Valentine's Day. Nobody deserves that. <laughs> oh my God. Is Melissa really Stratton, he's like a beautiful that? woman. Yes, she has chosen to have sex on camera for her career. Yes, she has had 13 inches <laughs> in and around yes. her face, mouth, oh possibly butthole. I don't know. Jesus I gotta go search Christ. it up. Uh-uh. But he you... Stop playing with her heart and that's not cool because she's a woman and valentine's day is a sacred holiday (laughs) you're supposed to treat girls right on valentine's day sean i don't know why i have to tell you this i feel like you know your parents probably should have told you this at a certain point but uh sean you really don't want smoke with the sex worker community so i would appreciate if you would apologize to melissa for publicly shaming her on valentine's day the sacredest of days and then also i would like to invite you to come and lay something down on the plug talk couch and that's Let's see what you're packing the, there's uh. the pack and that's mm, there's yeah. the so, there's so the just so we're clear the 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 whole time. he said not, not only that he said hey lay something down on the sex on the uh, plug talk couch for those of you who don't know adam and his his wife they do a show where they interview a girl and then about 45 minutes mm-hmm. in they stand up and they f- her mm-hmm. right on the um, during the interview like just imagine if just wow. yeah just wow. imagine yeah, if joe rogan just stood up no pause took his pants out and just Elon Musk, like that's essentially. <laughs> that's I'd a, rather not imagine. Okay, it, but, but my point, yeah. my point, it's one of the why. It's just wow. a crazy. You look on Twitter, it's just them. It's like, hey, we're having a great time, and then they're just like, hey, that's awesome. That's what happened with your mom and dad, and then they just get up and they fuck the guest. It is fucking that's crazy, crazy to watch. I never knew that. So anyway, they, they did that it. with they did that with Melissa Stratton. My never first question, I'm going to ask yeah. anybody is who is at fault here? I'm just curious, Lucy. Who do you think's at fault? At fault, I, I mean, Adam's doing what his job entails. Any press is good press yeah. for yep. what he does. So that's what he's doing. He, he's doing nothing out of the ordinary for anybody doing what he does but 
would he say that to someone in person another man would you look and be like yeah you're she got good fire pussy like you're not gonna say that in person so i think it, i think really adam just, might i think adam, I think adam might actually, i think i think I, I think i think i think adam would be with a bunch no, of goons and probably strap yeah. oh, if yeah. he's with people yeah. yeah i'm thinking more of like an honest like one-on-one -on -one guy thing but yeah. um but yeah i think he's i think that was out of line but it's not surprising i've definitely had that thought where i've been out before years after the fact and i see a girl with, with a dude and the guy's shaking my hand and she's introduced me and all i'm thinking is like man your girlfriend is a huge button you don't know about it like i've thought that before but i never said it well she she was wrong for introducing you you don't have your man shake hands with somebody you before that's wrong right that there you go so good much. see that we're getting we're getting some boundaries here let's go india who boundaries. do you think who do you think's at fault if you know the is a porn star then you can't be tender over the fact that a mother <laughs> say like oh she got good pussy or like oh i seen this or oh like she put it out there for the world like you have to be secure enough to be like okay and that's my and like you know like yeah, right. i don't know i just feel like that's a little bit weird to especially to break especially on valentine's day but to break up with her it's like you knew what she was getting into like welcome to death row like that's it is what it is well, cool. so, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask a question and it's gonna seem silly but i just want anyone uh to answer this if you disagree does anyone here think that it's inappropriate if a guy says i don't want to date a girl who's done porn? does anyone think no. that's no. inappropriate no. Got, okay cool no. just making sure just making sure but I know cool. you have they can have a preference just like women can yeah. have a preference okay yeah. got it. You know, okay you know what you got into knowing the girls are star, right. so it's like but you you're can't also get allowed to change your mind stupid stuff okay but adam's just a yeah, no, that, well, that's the thing. Like, well, like, yeah. like it's, it's, it's one of these things, like, like even, even guys, I, I, maybe you don't know this, but if you have a boyfriend now and every guy you ever slept with came over to some party and then just rubbed it in your boyfriend's face, he would not be very happy with you. Right. Like, it's, oh just, it's right. just how the world works. I'm sorry yeah. that we're all insecure, hairless murder apes, but that's how, that's how men are. You wouldn't want to hear, like, one good Yelp review before, like... <laughs> Yelp review. Yelp no, Yelp that's Yelp. actually mortifying. No. Really? That's really? No, interesting. No, it's wow. an interesting point, Bree. So what your, your point is trying to make is that, like, she should have so some experience that she was not good and bad. Your girl, well, just one good review. You know, Developers you know, are like, you just fuck, that's a great idea. Why is we asking for reviews? <laughs> right. I'm just I feel saying. like no, yeah. my homie is gonna think start a thing called the <laughs> facts instead of the car facts. facts. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Walter yeah. Weeks already has a uh, already yes, has. I that. think that's trademark. Give me the <laughs> give me the whole facts. I think All if right. you I think if you just <laughs> the girl, like I think a lot of guys, y'all be like, dude, she go for it, bro. She's good. Like, yeah. but it, but if you, it's your girl and you're like trying to like you know cultivate like a good relationship, yeah. then not. Nah, I wouldn't even want to know that she has to be a virgin in your eyes. In yeah, your so, mind. So, yeah. So so the weird thing oh, is, my star got to be a virgin. No, 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 no. 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 Here's, here's the weird thing for guys. Like, if you had a choice, is like, is she good in bed or like? Because the thing is, from my standpoint, is if she's not good in bed, I can just teach her as long as she really likes me. I don't need her to have a bunch of experience. Does that make sense? I, I, I I'm not saying I don't need her to have any experience, but I don't need her to have much because I can just show her. Does that make? Does that? Do you understand? Yeah, I'm not. I just, I'm not saying I want like a hundred guys to stand up and, and give. Their, that's not, you know. Not but like would a hundred? Would a hundred all no, say yes? No. Though any of them said no, right, any of them would not right, give you a positive right. review. No, I was like. I was so celibate for five years, a hundred. Yeah. I would have to be like every night ever since then. No, yeah. but I just um, I I'm feel like sorry. at my funeral, it's like that joke. At my like, during my eulogy, I want one person to get up and be like, she was great in bed, just one. Really? Yeah. Okay. So well, you can probably do that. Yeah. So I, I think you guys all deserve that, and you're dead anyway. So like, who's gonna shame right. you? Yeah. Yeah. Shit. So, all right, cool. Yeah. Her um, pussy was fine. Listen, I, I know some guys. <laughs> I know some guys. I can't do it. My girlfriend <laughs> would kill me. But like, I yeah, the pussy was fire. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. You want that on your headstone? Yeah. But here's 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 the ultimate irony. If there were guys that you used to f ladies and they said her, her pussy's fire referring to you, would you feel good about this or bad about this? Anybody? I mean, no I one's going to feel bad. Depends, on, yeah, depends, depends, on, depends on, on the guy. Yeah. If yeah. you have a bad relationship. What's the alternative? Like, would you rather someone to be like, his dick was trash? You wouldn't want that. Right, of course. Right. Yeah, but as a, man, as a man, a woman bragging about having sex with me doesn't affect me at all. Like, so right. that's... There. All right, here we go. Uh, Domo, who's, who's at fault here? I mean, I don't think the girl's at that's fault, but I saying. think they should have had a conversation yeah. before all this. I mean, I think the... The host guy, I think he's at fault because it's like, why would you do that? Like, why would you humiliate her? Yeah, I, I'm gonna guess that he used to not be famous and then became famous, and sure. this is probably that's the exactly hottest right. girl he's ever. That he's, is most definitely. He, the case. He's never well, had someone pussy this good. Isn't as fire as he's used to eating. Well, oh. but it's like, oh. why oh. was he attracted <laughs> to her? Yeah. Oh, because she's attracted. But listen, no one's no one's arguing that some stars aren't attractive. We yeah, know that they're attractive. She's the host of it's the, just, the hot ones. <laughs> God, ah. The difference. Is, I what do you think, Ali? <laughs> fault at all but like i said even with myself i've had times where it's hard to date because the guy's so insecure but yeah but, but have you had previous partners that you filmed with come and like call out that dude um not like that no, no. i mean i've had people dm people or like lie on me or say something like that yeah. but i'm saying i don't think there's a fault i just think adam's a 
And I'm going to stand on that. Okay. He's just an asshole. He's he's an asshole. He, does that to, he does this stuff to everybody. No matter what little thing he can r- run into, he's going to do. And he runs with it. With, that's why he has so many followers. Yes. But I, I would do the same thing. Where the f*** was he? Like, he looks like he's in, like, Kentucky somewhere. Like, in, like he's not in Burbank. Because I, I know, know that's where the studio yeah, is. Like, it looks like in a very yeah. relaxing, yeah. happy place. What the f*** is up with his jaw and his teeth that he has, like... Uh, who knows? He looks like he's... Yeah, that's what they look like in the Wait, trailer park. Bree, so. Bree, what, who, who do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I don't roll did through they there openly, very often. Did they say why? Oh did he God. say he broke up with her because of that? Or uh, it'd, be pre- it'd be pretty hard to think of any other reason. I'm just wondering. Yeah. You know the timeline of like yes. the post? And then... uh, showed a post of them together, like who Facebook official. Who is the source, too? Facebook oh. official. And then, uh, and then, and then he retweets it, and 24 hours later, he breaks up with her. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, Bree, is anybody in the wrong here? Um. No, I don't think anyone's in the wrong. I mean, like, Adam-22 is doing what he does best. Like, mm-hmm. acting like a meth addict from, like, an episode <laughs> of Cops. So we should expect that, you know? Mm, this guy, oh. Sean, what's his face? Like, you weren't dating Nancy Reagan, so I don't know why you're shocked. <laughs> right. You have Google. It's 2024. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why you're acting surprised. But if that was the reason you wanted to leave her, I feel like for her, it's, like, good riddance. Like if yeah, exactly. Yeah, if he's, would you say that tender d- that's yeah. great. I'm gonna start using that. Like, <laughs> better she know now, and then everyone just goes their separate. For sure, ways. absolutely. Part of me thinks it was all contrived. Like, it interesting. Was all, it, it's all like a inner. Dude, like, take it. Yeah. That's, that is where, my that is my first go to every time thing he shows where, up. Like, they they all know each other. Yes, Somehow there's yes. been a there's been a like interconnected like text message saying hey we can all get a little bit of clout this from is, all of this this is well, look like at that. the bounce back of all their all their followers now the ones got their followers looking at that one so now oh, yeah. all three followers are going to be bouncing back for sure. all the pages for sure and she's going to make she's going to gonna make a, she's going to make she's going to make a killing on our left exactly now everybody she's going to make a 500 grand on our left this month and they both are going to get a percentage of all her for sure for sure it's affiliate marketing affiliate armani what do you think smart business um on her part so bouncing off of kind of like what the majority of the table said, I think that it was uncalled for for what's his name? Adam, Adam 22. Exactly. Um, I, I'm sorry. I, no, it's I'm fine. Not, I don't it's actually like very that. admirable that you don't know who he is. <laughs> nothing, wrong, yeah. nothing wrong with Adam. Adam's cool. Yeah, it's just yeah. whenever I meet a girl who doesn't know who porn stars are, I'm kind of happy about it. Yeah, anyway, no, go ahead. But um, it was uncalled for because it's like you're kind of ruining like a special moment for someone. Okay. But also. Are you, are you though? Or are you exactly. maybe fixing a problem? Probably. Well, if he knew what he got into, it's like, yeah. who are you to come in? It's like, everybody knows that. You're stating the obvious. You know? Okay. That's Ver- how I feel about it. Very nice. The internet yeah. is such an open space. It's like, you can, stay can you really stay. be upset for real? Yeah, that you somebody, put yourself yeah. on that got it. platform. Yeah. Perfect. You have okay. to be prepared. So, so here, here's the thing, right? Um, I So I'm just going to use myself as an example. I would not, like, again, I love having them on my show, and I love being friends with them, but I would not date a woman seriously who has sex with other men on camera. That's just a pr- preference that I have. And because of the part of the reason why I don't want to do that is not because of insecurity, but it's because of exactly stuff like this. Like, I just don't think you understand, like, this is going to affect him. This is the thing he is going to be most known for for the rest of his life. Mm. Yeah. That's, his, that's what's happened, okay? It's going to end up in his comments forever. Plug Talk, okay. how, many, how many subs do you think Plug Talk has? And don't go look it up right now. I'm not. Plug Talk oh, has yeah. only 112,000. Oh, wow. There you go. Okay. Only Plug Talk. That's not, now granted, that's not no jumper. No, no. jumper has a lot more than that. They're yeah, in right. the millions, right? Okay. Now, how many do you think Hot Ones has? Million? Couple? 13.2 million. Exactly. Wow. So, that's so exactly by, so by dropping is. that bullshit. Line, that's exactly what he now has for, access bro. to 13.2 million. And that's subs. exactly my point. Yes, he did that on purpose. Yeah, and you know what's funny? And, and I can't show this on on screen because I'll get a nudity strike on YouTube. But look <laughs> at the very next. Uh, yeah, the very next. The, the, so after he comments that, he puts. So what what happens is right after, if you guys want to look up the tweet, right after the tweet, it's a picture of him with the girl and they're talking about his wife. Well, they're about to have a threesome. That's exactly oh, wow. what happened. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so, and it says, "Go watch her plug talk episode now." Only a plug talk talk. Okay, so here's the thing. Not only well, bravo, Adam. Bro, you not, did not, it again. With, mother- not only did they work together, did she Adam twenty two, but they did it recently because that show's not that oh, old. Wow. Yeah. All right. So that that's the thing. Now here's the answer. The answer is Sean is in the wrong. He's in the wrong for ma- making a poor decision. What happens is a lot of times. Well, like I said before, what I think is he used to not be famous than he was, and he doesn't have the skill set to deal with women as sophisticated as what he can get now. Does that make right? sense? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He has the ability to go to parties he couldn't get into before, and get into arenas he couldn't get in before. Too much. And too date young, women too fast. He dated date women who are so far above what he's used to from a physical attractiveness level that the first one who threw the 
at him. That's the one he was going to accept and thought in his mind he could somehow get away with having this girl he probably had amazing sex with and call this woman his girlfriend. Okay. Right. Not understanding the repercussions about what was going to happen. I the have things a question. That, go ahead. Here's, here's a perspective for you. So Sean, who's the... the hey, gra of, grab the mic and just pull it up. Sean, who's the host, uh, the host of Hot Ones. Yeah. yeah. What happens if he was seemingly like a more conservative fan? And then he kinda kind of is. Which he is. Yeah. And he got, he's part of the establishment. You know what I'm saying? He, he got into this relationship, maybe like got ahead of himself with this porn star. He certainly did. But mm -hmm. started sleeping with her. What if he went back and started viewing her videos and then started seeing that and was like, Shit, I can't either seize what she was doing mm -hmm. and then either got like, I can't keep yeah, up with that it's, it's, or got disgusted on what he yeah. saw after the fact. Mm -hmm. Then I wouldn't blame him for it, breaking up with her because he couldn't handle it. Yeah, it's it's, yeah. The, it's the girl dating the drug dealer. Like he, she, she doesn't she knows there's money around, but she doesn't know how the money's how made. The <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's the, it's like you want to you want to eat the sausage, but you don't want to see how the sausage it's, it's Edie Falco in The Sopranos dating Tony Soprano. Like she liked the money. <laughs> she liked all the money, but she didn't like she didn't want to know all the dirty stuff that he was doing is this kind of situation he probably had magnificent sex. like for instance just he probably went from a very average life to having magnificent sex with a woman he probably finds outrageously attractive and not considering for the fact that it's like hey when you do this other people are going to come out and shame you for it can you handle this he probably talked to some of his he's part of the establishment so probably some of his woke elitist friends like these people in usa today who right. they're like it's so funny the usa today article what they should say is hey you should probably think before you want to date someone who's had sex on camera Instead, the thing was, no, you should not shame people for this. And my point is, I don't even think Adam-22 is shaming anyone. No, he's just no, pulling his he's own. Just, he's just, he's just Adam. saying he's the truth. Just being Adam. He's just yeah. saying the truth. So that's, that's well, the no, thing. No, no, but it's not about Adam shaming. It's about all the people that you said were going to be in the comments. Sure. You just yeah. talked about how that was the whole thing. I mean, you so can't control that. Well, what's funny is, like, well, no, yeah, I'm looking at the comments. I'm looking at the comments. But you can't control like what anybody says, him. though. Yes. And that's the thing. Yeah. You said you can't control what the people are saying in the comments, but you can't control what Adam22 or whatever his name is. You can't control what he's going to say. So it's like, that's why I said in the beginning, like, you have. You can. You just don't date a porn star. That's how you control it. Adam has Exactly, though. But it's like, even when she said, like, oh, and then you go back after the fact and you feel like, but it's like, how could you have not? Like, how long have you guys been dating to where it's like, you don't know or you haven't looked or you haven't so, seen? He just wasn't ready. So I feel gonna, like yeah. he read the well, clip notes I'm, and I'm didn't take it cover to cover I'm gonna take and then it. regret it. I'm going to take it one step further. It's... It was funny what, what Adam did, but he just stated a fact. I don't think he was trying to be cruel, but like, but the, the but problem. But he was trying to be funny. But, 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 but the problem is that the problem is this: there's nothing wrong with the fact that he felt ashamed and broke up with her. There's nothing wrong with that. Like that's it sucks, but that's the way the world is. Like yeah. it's it's one he of these situations. He was ready anyway. Correct, and he wasn't ready, and so it's not weird that he felt ashamed. Now I have a, a lot of, of my guy friends who have girlfriends that are stars or escorts or whatever, and they don't feel ashamed. They have chosen a different lifestyle. Some of my friends are polyamorous, whatever, and they're comfortable with their partner sleeping with someone else. They've chosen something different. This guy didn't choose that. And that's why he feels ashamed. And it's normal, I think, for him to feel ashamed. I'm, I'm just saying. Like it, what that USA Today article was saying is, we shouldn't live in a world where people should feel shame like that. And mm -hmm. my response is, two hundred thousand years of human evolution. Right. Of course, we're gonna feel. I ashamed. also don't think it would have been a big, a big, like a big story like that if it would have happened on November second, as right. opposed to right. Valentine's Day. Partially, but the guy has thirteen million followers on Twitter. On like, what I'm saying. To make it yeah. mean, I feel but that's like... because of the thing before, which was happened to be the day before, and he, then he responded. <laughs> within 24 hours yeah if it would have happened on november 1st and then again on november 2nd it wouldn't be as big yeah, but, because but, it wasn't so, so, a sacred uh, what, day what i think what i think also the other part is here is he is part of the establishment and what i mean what by that, that the establishment mean like like the very the very woke elitist type of individuals yeah. go on his show yeah, and in order to do that he has to like for instance he can't be a trump supporter and then have those people go on the show he's too okay. big for that okay like he could probably get obama on his show to well, eat he the, also, the show. you have to understand like the 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 formula for the hot ones okay yeah. it's like they have you know the chicken wings and it's yeah. like one that's a mile yeah. all the way up to the hottest there is but he's that's that's the gimmick but yeah. he's interviewing like big name a lister yes. actors on yeah there. you can't but you can't get you, you, you can't get a, you can't get a listers unless yeah. you're part of the establishment and yeah. so yeah. Okay. part of the establishment is sort of a woke narrative of egalitarianism where it, they're telling him i promise you he got messages from his friends his new friends that he got since he got famous saying things like you should just accept the fact that she does 
What's the big deal, bro? Why are you ashamed? Don't be so insecure. He was told that he shouldn't be shamed. Right. And then when it was put in his face, literally, then it all of a sudden reality does, does reality lose, trumped wokeness. Does he lose market share now? Do you think no. that no. people won't want to no. know? No, because, 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 he, because he doesn't because he doesn't do a dating podcast. I don't think he, he loses no. any market share. What's crazy is if, is if, is if he would have waited long enough, he would have you get to a certain point where for one thing that you're being like chastised over by the world they're going to say everything that can be said and then that's it and if you can Literally. survive that but he couldn't even survive the first little hit so he definitely should I not do that you again have the, you have yeah. the right to reserve to change your mind maybe he could um just date a kindergarten teacher Right? <laughs> right? Why not? Yeah. Why not? You should probably give him some questions. I'll, 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 I'll give you. I'll give you one other. Maybe. He probably wouldn't school I'll give you one other. Maybe. Maybe he could date a porn star and then just keep it on the DL. That's nothing he could yes. do. Yes. That would have been fine. Not every maybe, relationship has to be. He's one of the few men, and I think it's like a small percentage of men that might be comfortable with his girl fucking other people. I, I don't think it's very common. She's not a Christian. And then maybe, maybe he's bisexual and he's comfortable with that, which I, you know, no. but maybe that's it. No, no, I'm not saying he is. Yeah. What I'm saying is those. Those are all possibilities but for the majority the middle standard deviation of men it's not we don't want to see a businesses go inside of our woman and it doesn't make us weird or insecure for us to feel that way and I, I, don't, I'm, I don't care who wants to cancel me for saying this. That is the case. Wait, so we don't want to see it. Was there an actual response from her? What do you mean? Like, did she? No, I'd love to hear it. If you guys want to look it up, I would love to know what the response no, is. I, oh, no, no. She I said, she said, no, she said, she no. said something to the effect of, I have a better bald man, something like that. She she made fun of him being bald after they broke up. Oh, something like that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. She, like, she must have missed a lot of drop on And again, 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 like, like, guys, I've had like 50 stars on my show like i don't i have nothing but wrong porn stars whatsoever i'm friends with a ton of them i go to their baby there showers when they get married i go to this table i go to their <laughs> wedding but it's my but i can be discerning without being judgmental and i just like in this situation it's like i love this person she's a great person to hang out with and then I, at the same time when i'm dating her i don't need my clients going up looking up pictures of other is going in her mouth yeah. that there's nothing wrong with me no. feeling that way that's my point cool just don't date a porn exactly but well that's yeah. that's exactly what i'm saying all right